is the opposition NPF trying to snatch power in Nagaland? Well, while the party is still silent on the matter, political circles are abuzz with talks that the NPF is sensing an opportunity to form the government with the support of a few members who are part of the ruling coalition. The speculations arose after the recent passing away of NDPP MLA Imtikum Zuk Longkumar, which reduced the numbers of the NDPP BJP combined to one short of simple majority. With 26 members in 60 member assembly, whose effective strength is now 59 following the death of the NDPP MLA, the NPF is just four seats short of a simple majority to stake claim. So, the obvious choice would be to approach the lone JDU legislator, who is also a minister and an independent MLA, along with, of course, potential dissidents within the ruling parties. Landing credence to the speculations about the NPF move is a clear admission by chairman of the JDU's Northeast Executive Council, NSN Lotha, that the NPF was in touch with his party. See, as far as uh, Nagaland is concerned, the strength of uh, Nagaland, Naga People's Front is uh, 26 out of 60. So naturally, there is uh, every reason for NPF to be anxious uh, because uh, they just need five members. As, <clears throat> so they have been wanting to uh, form the government ever since this present government was installed. So now the issue has uh, aggravated more with the death of uh, M.T. Kamzok because the number of the ruling government has come down. So yes, mm, they have... Uh, they have been trying to form the government and of course NPF is also in touch with us. Significantly, while Lotha said his party was satisfied being part of the ruling PDA coalition in the state, it was not completely happy. As far as uh, the present uh, alliance is concerned, it's doing well, it's uh, smoothly running. Mm. But uh, as far as the satisfaction of uh, every party is concerned, uh, I cannot uh, uh, say that everyone is satisfied, but uh, it is smoothly running. Well, this remark by Lotha threatens to fuel more intense speculations about the changing political equations in the days to come. Meanwhile, the ruling alliance also seems well aware of the possible developments. In fact, the Nagaland CM's office has filed an FIR against unknown persons circulating messages about change in portfolios in the state cabinet. The message the CM's office noted is an attempt to cause confusion and unnecessary turmoil. Currently, the PD Alliance has 33 legislators, of which 17 are from NDPP, 12 from the BJP, two NPP MLAs, one from JDU and an independent MLA. There is little doubt that the Nefi Rio led government would like to keep its allies in good humour to stop the NPF from moving a no-confidence motion against it anytime soon. With inputs from Preeti Priyadarshini, this is Amrita Kar for Northeast Life.